he asked me a question about, he wants to be really good at tennis. But what happens is after I play tennis for a while, I want to go play video games. You obviously don't fucking want it bad enough. Because a person that, you want to, I became obsessed. I became obsessed with being the baddest motherfucker that God ever created. Am I that? I don't care. I believe it. And I was trying to tell him, once you become obsessed with something, obsessed, it's okay to be unbalanced for a while. It's okay. Don't be, all this stuff people say, you got to be balanced. To be the best in the world at what you do. It's not about being a Navy SEAL, people. The best at what you do, you have to be unbalanced to find every bit of fucking energy and strength that you have to pull it off. Then you get balanced once you become great. And then you help other people become better from you being the best in the world. So if your family doesn't understand, why are you so daggone crazy? Because I'm trying to be the best I can to give you the best that I am. And it takes being fucking obsessed to where people think you're crazy. People look at me and say, oh my God, you're a masochist, you're this and that. I'm not going to get into how bad I was and all these races and still training. I had 21 stretch fractures going through Hell Week. 21 stretch fractures. You know what I did? I taped my ankles up. Roger that. I want to be a SEAL. So I did it. Become obsessed with being great. The fact of the matter is that the reason discipline is hard to maintain is because it is hard to maintain. That's what makes discipline hard. It's hard. And if you hear me claim that discipline is easy for me, then straight up, that's just my ego talking. That's w what that is. Because I'm, unfortunately, just as human as everyone else. And it is work to maintain the discipline. That's what it is, work. H holding the line maintaining the standard giving no slack none that's the discipline that's the discipline and it is hard and if there's one thing I would say that does make it easier it's to envision what it feels like when you're done what it feels like after you've worked out or you've held the line on your food intake or you've pushed through some monotonous project that you have to do and all those things when they're done they feel good and contrary to that envision what you will feel like later when you let the discipline slack you know the feeling. Feeling weak and defeated and you know that you're falling behind. So get to know those two different types of feelings and ask yourself which one you want to feel in 10 minutes or in a half an hour. When when the thing is done, when the discipline has been implemented. Remember what that feels like and then remember that those minutes and those hours, they turn into weeks and months and years and holding the line in those critical minutes will put you in an infinitely better place physically and mentally if you maintain the discipline. So work through the weakness, fight through the temptation, hold the line. Hold the line, maintain the discipline. It is not easy, but it is worth it. Because, yes, because discipline equals freedom.